Here we are, Thursday afternoon, April 23rd, 4 p.m. It's time for story time. It is. And we are continuing with Earth Day today. We need to celebrate the Earth more than just one day, right? Yes, that's what I think. So new books, new songs, new crafts, all those good things, right, Madeline? Okay. What? That's cool. Yes, the monkey's gonna join us today for fun. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay. I think monkey should do our first song with us, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Both monkeys, you and this one. Right? Okay. Here we go. Whew. Okay, I'll remember to sing the right song this time, right? Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe or foot or slipper. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Monkey! Yes. Can monkey say hello? Hello, hello. We say hello like this. We say hello like this. We're all here for story time, so say hello like this. We say hello to Madeline. We say hello to Madeline. We're all here for story time, so say hello to Madeline. Hi, Madeline. Hi. We say hello to Monkey. We say hello to Monkey. We're all here for story time, so say hello to Monkey. Hi, Monkey. Hi. Can you and Monkey say hello to me? Thank you. Awesome. I love it. Silly monkey. Um, and just a reminder about our ball song, which I can't do with you, but you can do it at home. Roll, roll, roll the ball, happy as can be. Madeline rolls it back to me, quick as one, two, three. Or you can do. Roll, roll, roll the ball, happy as can be. Monkey rolls it back to me, quick as one, two, three. Or bounce it, or throw it. Anything you want to do with it. That's wrong. Don't forget how much fun we have to do, we have with it. Okay? Wild monkey. Okay, we're going to read our first story. It is called On Earth by G. Brian Karras. On Earth, because we're still doing Earth Day today. Okay. It is published by G.P. Putnam Sons, which is part of Penguin Young Readers. Um, okay, so on Earth, here we go. On Earth, we go for a giant ride in space, spinning like a merry-go-round. The earth spins on its axis. Look, here's the axis right here. Oh, no, we found a story. And circles the sun in a great sweep. Here, there's a big revolution. Um, and then the earth does a rotation. Okay. We face the sun and its light and warmth as we live our days. I love sitting out in the sun. It makes me so happy. It's not very sunny right now. It's a little gray, but. Shadows get long as day rolls into night. You ever walk outside and look at your shadow? It's pretty cool. You should try drawing it, like tracing it one time. Or having someone trace your shadow. It would be hard to trace your own shadow. But have someone... A parent or a friend or a sister or brother, trace your shadow, be cool. <clears throat> At night, 
We turn away from the sun and see a universe of stars and planets while we dream of what we can do tomorrow. While we spin, we also travel in an orbit around the sun so that by the time we get back to where we started, we're one year older. And this is how um, the Earth travels around the sun throughout the year. Madeline, can you name the months for me? February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, December, December. These are the months of the year. Thank you. Excellent. So that's what how the Earth looks or how close it is or far away from the sun as it goes around. We count months as we grow. In 12 months, a year has gone by. Years go by day by day. We count them with calendars and candles. You know what this says? Madeline, what does this say? Doesn't it say about happy birthday? It does say happy birthday, you're right. Because every year you have a birthday. Madeline, when's your birthday? Good. Whose birthday is coming up soon? Matthew. Yes. <laughs> Sally's is today. Yep. The earth tilts on its axis. When we lean toward the sun, we're warmer. When we lean away, we're colder. Our seasons change from summer to autumn and winter to spring. Seasons in the northern hemisphere. Okay, here's the sun. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Okay, what season are we in right now, Madeline? We're in spring. We're in spring right now, that's true. True Wait, statement. When are we in summer? I have to look up the exact date, I'm not sure. But we haven't been in spring that long, so we got a little ways to go, right? At least another month. When the Earth's top side leans away from the sun, there is winter above the equator and summer below. In winter, the days get shorter and the nights are longer. By the spring, the days get filled with sunlight. We spin and we circle, rotate and revolve, but we don't fall off. Gravity holds us on, holds us to the earth. Gently, slowly, around and around, we hold out our arms as we glide through the universe. We fly through space at night as night becomes day, summer becomes winter, and years go by. The Earth. The Earth is like a ball, it is a sphere. There is an imaginary line around the center of the Earth called the equator. The Earth spins like a top. It rotates around an imaginary line that goes from top, top to bottom, the Earth's axis. The Earth revolves around the sun in a big oval orbit. There are imaginary points on the Earth's top and bottom, the North Pole and the South Pole. Gravity is the force that holds us to the Earth. Good. Okay. I'm just gonna sing. First one, we're gonna sit and sing. Okay. Come here. You sit with me. Uh, yeah. Will you and monkey sit with me. Okay. Yeah. And the next yeah, one, next one, one, I have a big job for you. Okay. You got a nice headband. Ready? Daddy's got a nice headband. Oh man. This land is your land, this land is my land. Let's work together to make it better. From tall green forests to clear blue waters, this land depends on you and me. We'll do it one more time. This land is your land, this land is my land. Let's work together to make it better. From tall green forests to clear blue waters, this land depends on you and me. Okay. Do you like it? 
The next one, I'm going to sing. You need to dance, okay? And Madeline is going to blow bubbles for me. Okay. Okay. So we got to move these chairs out of the way. Okay, because this is a fun song, but I'm I'm going to need my hands to... Okay. Now it's gonna blow some bubbles. We're gonna have a little fun here, okay? Okay. You ready? Okay, so I hope you're dancing at home. Okay. <laughs> here, let me put this down a little bit. There. Okay. It's a happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. It's a happy Earth Day party, you will come. We will celebrate our planet, we will change our wasteful habits. It's a happy Earth Day party, you will come. You will come. We will walk instead of riding, you will come. We will walk instead of riding, you will come. We will walk instead of riding. We'll save gas because no one's driving. To the happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. It's a happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. It's a happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. We will celebrate our planet, we will change our wasteful habits. It's a happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. We will plant a tree together, you all come. We will plant a tree together, you all come. We will plant a tree together so that air we breathe is better. At our happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. It's a happy Earth Day party, we will come. It's a happy Earth Day party, you will come. We will celebrate our planet, we will change our wasteful habits. It's a happy Earth Day party, you will come. We will pick up cans and bottles, you will come. We will pick up cans and bottles, you will come. We will pick up cans and bottles, I'm sure we will collect a lot. Then we'll recycle what we've got, oh, you'll all oh, come. I think I went off the team with that one. <laughs> it's a happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. It's a happy Earth Day party, you'll all come. We will celebrate our planet. We will change our wasteful habits. It's a happy Earth Day party. You will come. We'll sing, save all living creatures. You will come. We'll sing, save all living creatures. You will come. We'll sing, save all living creatures. <clears throat> save the wealth of birds and trees. We'll have a happy Earth Day party. You will come. It's a happy Earth Day party, you will come. It's a happy Earth Day party, you will come. We will celebrate our planet. We will change our wasteful habits. It's a happy Earth Day party, you will come. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me on that one. I hope you dance at home at least. Right? <laughs> I'm sure. Thank you for my bubbles, Mom. Bubbles are coming there. One second here. Okay. We're coming back. We are here. Okay. <gasps> Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little hands go. Two <clears throat> little feet go jump, jump, jump. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. One little body goes round and round. And one little child sits quietly down. Another story? It is another story, Madeline. You are correct. Goodbye. Here, you want to move up? Are you going over there? Okay. We are going to read the book, Thank You, Earth, A Love Letter to Our Planet by April Pulley Sayer. Okay. 
And this one is published by Green Willow Books, an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. Okay, so see the earth is the O, oh, isn't that cool? Thank you, earth. I like this picture. What do you see there, Madeline? So what's this? Yeah, you got the hiccups? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, spider web. I don't know what this bird is. It's cool though. Dear Earth, thank you for water and those that float. It's my favorite. For slippery seaweed and stone. Thank you for mountains and minerals that strengthen bills and bone. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you for air, even fishy whale breath. Thank you for colors and coastlines and beach. I'm talking about the whole earth. All the different, we did the mountains, right? Now beach. All the different parts of Earth. Thank you for tiny. What's that, Madeline? Um. Oh wait. It's, it's a ladybug. Yeah. And towering. Look at that giant tree. Look at those beautiful leaves. It must be in the fall. Are they yellow? Mm-hmm. For trees and vines that reach. Thank you for curves, and prickles, and parallels, for patterns. All shapes that repeat. Oh, this gorgeous flower. Nature is so beautiful, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Thank you for leaves. And stems and buds for plant parts we can eat. Thank you for sounds and storms, and seasons, for struggles. Wait, is and Oh, the pussy willows? Yeah, I love pussy willows. And pale in betweens. Thank you for rays and radials and overlapping greens. Thank you for jumbles, ingredients for soil, and bright new growth in spring. Thank you for those that crawl. Yes, all, 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 even for those that sing. Thank you for sunsets. I love sunsets. For sky room, for birds, for edges, eyes can roam. Thank you for beginnings, for endings, for lifetimes. Thank you for being our home. Thank you, Earth. That was a good one. Thank you. Thank you. I found his baby. Okay, we're going to sing one more birthday song, then we'll do a little movement song, okay? Um, but this one we can sit down for. <laughs> oh. If you want to. Yes, yeah, she still has hiccups. 
Plant a seed and you will see, you will see, you will see. Plant a seed and you will see what a beautiful world it can be. Help us to recycle things, recycle things, recycle things. Help us to recycle things, what a beautiful world it brings. Put your trash where it belongs, it belongs, it belongs. Put your trash where it belongs. And the world stays beautiful for long. Do that one more time. Ready, Madeline? Okay. Plant a seed and you will see, you will see, you will see. Plant a seed and you will see what a beautiful world it can be. Help us to recycle things, recycle things, recycle things. Help us to recycle things, what a beautiful world it brings. Put your trash where it belongs, it belongs, it belongs. Put your trash where it belongs, and the world stays beautiful for long. Okay, grab something you can shake, okay? Grab something you can shake, okay? Here, Madeline, here's something you can shake. Okay, this is a box of mac and cheese. Okay, you got a box of rice, whatever you want to grab. Makes the next sound, okay? You know we don't have all shakers at home, okay? You ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap. So you can do it on your knee or on the floor. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give a tap. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Shake, shake. Clap, clap. Tap, tap. Good. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Shake, shake. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Shake, shake. Clap, clap. Tap, tap. Good. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know. Wait, one more. Okay. Hands on shoulders. No, nope. no, nope. that's not what we're doing. Hands on shoulders. Hands on knees. Hands behind you, if you please. Touch your elbows. Okay. Bend your nose. Just pretend to touch your nose. Bend your nose. Touch your hair. Now touch your toes. <laughs> Raise your hands up high. Wave hello. Stretch your arms, stretch your mouth wide, and watch you grow. Then bring your hands down and touch the floor. Now, clap your hands. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, we're going to read our next story. Okay? We do. By one of my favorite authors. But you're at Carl. We're going to read The Tiny Seed. Okay, so this lends itself to our craft idea for today. So, The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl, published by Picture Book Studio. Okay. Okay, here we go. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, 
the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. See it back here? Can you see? Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small the bird does not see it. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore, they are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed and it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants. And that little plant dies. A tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late, hurry! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. Not that one right here. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and oh, it breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has six. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, and a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches, reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It's taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. This is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder, the flower has lost almost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. A tiny seed by Eric Carle. Oh, honey, Madeline. Oops, sorry. Hey, that's on your toes. Okay. Tickle the scars. Tickle your toes. Turn it around and put your tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach way up high. Story time is over, so wave goodbye. Okay. For class today, if you choose to do it, we are making seed bombs. Okay. We tore up little pieces of paper. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Come over here. Okay, we tore up little pieces of paper. Okay, and they've been soaking in this bowl, just water. 
water and paper. Okay, we just used our old newspaper. You can use junk mail, you can use old construction paper, um, you can use work. tissue paper, any kind of paper will work. Okay, so we're just soaking it, okay? I just make one to show you. Um, and then put some in this, you can use a food processor or a blender. Put some in there. Put a little more water in it. Okay, a little bit more. Then you're going to get this one right. Be loud for a minute, okay? Okay, hang on, one minute. It's gonna be loud. We're just gonna blend it up, make it into like pulp. You want it to be almost like oatmeal -y consistency, okay? Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Here's what we have. We have our paper pulp. Okay, remember you can make it colorful too. I just took the newspaper because we have extra old ones. And then you need to strain it out. Okay, just any colander will do. Get the excess water. Okay. See the water coming out. What the the water is okay. oh right there. And then the only thing you need is seeds. Okay. Ideally you'd use wildflower seeds. Okay. I have zinnias because um, that's just what I had in my house. Um but you're gonna make a ball, okay? You're gonna pull some of this pulpy stuff out. Okay, you're gonna put a couple seeds in in there, okay? And then you're gonna over the sink, you're gonna put those in the middle of it, okay? You're gonna squeeze the extra water out, and then you're gonna dry it. Okay, you gotta set it to dry. Then you can either plant it outside, you would just throw it into the woods if you wanted to, spread spread flowers around. You could give them as a present to somebody. Um, so it's just a good way to do something for the earth, and we're just recycling paper. And I said any paper will do. So you soak it, you rip it up into little pieces, you soak it, you blend it up in the a food processor or a blender, real quick, then you just strain it out, okay? When you make a little ball, put some seeds in the middle of it, just make it into a little ball, and then you can have fun with it, okay? So that is your craft idea, if you want, for today. Um, that is going to do it for us here at 1868 West Side Road. Um, <laughs> I will be back at six for more of Ida B um, for our family read aloud. Um, and I'm for if there are any adults watching. I do have a poetry workshop, a found poetry workshop with Susanna tonight at seven. Um, but that's not going to be Facebook Live. That's going to be over Zoom. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know. So I've lot to get ready for so I'm gonna sign off and I will be back tonight but story time will be back next week Wednesday and Thursday we'll see what other fun things I can bring to you celebrate the earth okay okay bye